What's up fellow YouTubers, Trigatigo here, back again with another YouTube video, and today we're going to talk about Revenge Runes. Cue the intro! So first off, I apologize for not having a video up. Um, I have been really, really busy. I started a new position at my job, so I've been slacking here, but I'll get back on schedule once that's all done with, so apologize about that. Um, so let's just jump right into this. So today we're going to talk about revenge runes, and I have seen this question come up a lot on the online forums, um, so much so that it's like revenge runes have gained this weird shrouded in myth type of like uh, mentality regarding them and they're really not all that crazy um, they're also very specialized runes so unlike say blade runes which are met primarily for any type of attacker class uh, just to increase your crit rate or same with like fatal runes or like with violent runes that go on every single goddamn theomars you run across in the arena Violent proking till you cry like a bitch. So unlike those, um, vi uh, revenge runes only are meant for specific monsters and... Ooh, what's that? Sorry, I thought a bird just flew into my house. Alright, so revenge runes are only meant for very specific monsters, and I'm going to go over that here. So, revenge runes are a off rune, so what that means is it's a two set. So two sets, you, um, two runes you get the rune set bonus. So they're not a main set, which take four. So revenge runes, um, they counterattack plus 15%. So I'm gonna get this right out of the way. What that means is if somebody attacks your monster or a monster attacks your monster, they have a chance of attacking back. That does not count as a turn. It just means they're going to attack and do their first skill um, against that person to attack you. So they're not gonna use their second or third skill. It's first skill, it does not count as a turn. So let's say Megan buffed your team. Um, all of your team has a buff on it. Somebody attacks one of your monsters that has a two turn buff on it. If they counter attack, it's not gonna go down to one. And concurrently, they're not, their uh, skill cooldowns are not gonna go down. So it does not count as a turn, unlike Violent, which gives you another turn. Um, also, like I said, they only attack with their first skill. So let's go over that. So. Would Veramos be good with uh, revenge runes? No, he wouldn't. This is why. <sighs> now, some of you might say, well, if he, you know, revenges somebody, his, uh, his uh, passive skill right here, which cleanses your whole team will kit. It will not, because what happens is, so he re removes a weakening effect, except an ability effects. Okay, you got that. Um, wait. On all allies, each turn. So do you see where it says that each Turn, that means it has to be Veramos's turn, and since revenge runes don't count as a turn, that will not proc. So if he revenges, he's only going to attack with that. Now, revenge would be helpful for him just because the first one does something. So I'm going to get to that right now. So first off, don't put revenge on Veramos. It's not good for him. So what you want to look at is what is the first skill of that monster? What does it do? So I'm going to use Lapis for an example here because pretty much everyone has her. Uh, well, everyone has her if you, uh, what was it, Mount Renari, I do believe. Yeah, Mount Renari, you get her. So what's her first attack do? So attacks a single target for two times and then attacks all enemies on the third attack. So if you get revenge, so if she revenges, she's going to attack one enemy and then all enemies again. So she attacks all enemies with that skill. Also, um, since it's an off rune, you could do, say, Despair Revenge with her. So if she revenges, she has a chance of stunning um, all the enemies as well. So revenge works great with her. Um, another one, which I don't have, and I've been saving up uh, exclusive stones for forever, waiting for him to come on the rotation, and he just does not want to. If I can find him. You think I'd have it memorized by now because, you know, I want him very badly. There we go. So, Vert Heal. Vert Heal is great with this because first skill, so attacks two times with the Vampire Bat, so he's going to revenge twice. Uh, just He's going to revenge once, but he's going to attack twice because that's his first skill. But what's great about his, his passive, if you read it, so your critical hits, 
increase the attack bars of all allies by 20%. So nowhere in this does it say on your turn, it's just simply your critical hits. So if he revenges and those two both crit, it basically uh, it's going to fill up, that passive is going to fill up your entire team's uh, um, attack bars. So revenge works great with him. Um, trying to think of another monster works really good with it. Um, Theomars can arguably be put on it. Um, because Theomars is a little bitch and we all hate him. Yes, we do. So, what's his uh, first attack? So, first attack, it does a chance to put continuous damage on it. So, if you're following that, you want their first skill to do something. So, if their first skill is just, it's just attack. So, yeah, like this one. You don't want to put revenge on him because his first attack doesn't do jack crap. And he doesn't have a good passive to go along with it. Um,. Darien is actually, and, and that's another thing you want to think of. In most cases of going against Arena, um, not very many monsters have just straight from, of, what is it, one, two, three, three set uh, revenge. So they don't have six rune, um, six revenge runes on it. It's normally, say like a revenge or violent. Revenge violent is typically how you would do it. Um, Darien is one of the few exceptions that I've seen where people put six revenge runes on him. Um, and it's mainly due because if you do it with Arena, you want to look at it this way. Because in Arena, um, typically Darien is going to be the first one that your enemy team goes after. Unless they're doing, like I say, a double Lucian. In which case, his uh, passive doesn't do jack crap. Which his uh, passive is, so it decreases damage by 15% for everyone. Um, with Lucians, though, they ignore defense, so they typically don't go after him. Um, but most that you're going to see, if they're not running a double Lucian, they're going to go after Darien first because it's an asshole and it's going to be harder to kill the rest of your team. So that's one way to do it. That's one strategy is to just go with Darien with all revenge runes. And his first skill right here, so it decreases the target's defense for two turns, which, what is that, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80? So yeah, it's a 100% chance with that if he has good accuracy. Um, so you can do that. Full revenge, so, and that would give him, what would that give him? So 15, 15, 45. So 60% chance to revenge hit, so 60% of the time he's going to revenge. So that's one good monster to do full revenge set. Um, you really just have to look at it though, and also, what are you typically going to be giving up if you go with revenge? Um, you need really good substats, um, because revenge, it's clearly, it's a, <coughs> excuse me. I'm <coughs> sorry. Revenge is a late game. It's a late game rune. So don't go out to the scenario and get scenario revenge runes. It's not the ones you want. If you get revenge, you want really good substats on it because you're replacing another rune set that would give you a better bonus. So say if you're going to put, we'll just go with Theomars here. Typically what you're going to do is violent, either probably violent blade with them because you want super high crit rate and crit damage, so if you're going to replace those those uh, blade runes with um, revenge instead, you want to make sure that you're at least able to get um, a 12% crit substat on them so that can make up for that blade set's uh, crit rate bonus that you get. So that's one thing you also want to look at. So don't just go immediately out and go, oh this monster's great, let's go, with violent revenge on it. It's not always the case, guys. In some cases you can get a much better monster with it. And honestly, you're only going to see Revenge Runes probably starting in... How do they always say that? Is it Fighter 3? Yeah, it's Fighter 3 or um, up. So so you're only going to see that in, like, say, Fighter 3 or, like... Is it Fighter 3? The highest you can get in Fighter and the lowest you can get is a Conqueror. So you're only going to start to see Revenge Runes starting around there in Arena. Um, as far as, say, like, uh, Dungeons like uh, dragons, um, that you're going to want to do it with obviously Vertiheal or something that, I'll give you an example here. So like Ariel could be really good with that. You don't really want, you're not going to get Ariel. I'm sorry. I'm just using this as an example because of his first skill here. So his first skill removes a beneficial effect. So that could be good for dragons. So if you have something that removes a beneficial effect on the first attack, that might be something you want to look at with uh, revenge because what happens is the dragon attacks you and he's probably going to have immunity up so that if you revenge on it, you're going to 
I'm going to claw away that immunity buff he has. Um, Revenge runes are also really good for Necropolis. Um, I'm not going to talk too much about that because I don't have a Necropolis B10 team up and I don't want to talk about something I haven't personally done yet. I will give you a little bit of advice on that though. Um, from what I've read, Lapis is amazing with Violent Revenge because if she attacks, she's going to attack the uh, Lich and basically what that does is it reduces that seven turn shield that the Lich gets and it's actually going to reduce it by, so if she revenges, it's going to reduce it by three. Um, just like that. So Lapis is great with revenge on her. Um, also, if you pulled... I think they did... Yeah, did they do her as a Hall of Heroes a while ago? Yeah, she's also really good with like revenge on her as well. So with like Necropolis, any monster that does multiple first turns um, is great with revenge. Immediately, if you're building a, a Necropolis team, that's one thing you want to look at. So again, it's still late game. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That is pretty straightforward. That gives you the gist and it's condensed down into something you can reason with. So again, it's a niche rune. It's not a, well, I wouldn't, I don't want to say it's a niche rune. It's a, it's, an, it's a late game end game rune. And there's not a lot of monsters that use it. It's very specifically geared towards specific monsters. So I really wouldn't worry too much about them as of yet, unless you're able to start. If you're starting on your Necropolis team, you're going to start using Revenge Runes. And if you're honestly, if you're that far, you're probably not watching this video for help. You're probably already geared up that much. So, but for those that aren't, that's how Revenge Runes work. Um, if you like the video, please like, comment, subscribe. Uh, it definitely helps a lot. And check out some of my other videos. Pretty good. So, oh yeah, and if you have any questions, leave them down below. Or I always get this wrong. So, yeah, that way. My email address is right up there. Just shoot me an email if you have a question. I try to answer everyone's questions and get back with you. So that's it. So trick or tickle out.